Dear Vice President of the European Commission, Vera Jourova. Dear Minister of State for Culture and the Media, Claudia Roth. Dear Honorable Media Ministers of the G7. Dear Members of the German Parliament, dear Members of the Broadcasting Council and the Administrative Council, lieber Peter Kleber. Dear distinguished guests and friends of Deutsche Welle and the Global Media Forum, and uh, it's great that you are here. And I can imagine for some it must have been kind of a trouble to travel. And so I think uh, we have to excuse, first of all, we can't excuse for the pandemic, but we can excuse for whatever happens in German travel. Um, so don't, don't take it uh, um, personally. And um, I, I hope uh, the return home in, in a couple of days will be much easier. So it's great that you are here and that it's great that we meet in person because it's so important. Because the, the Global Media Forum is about networking, it's about talking to each other. And I think this, this is something which we can do now after two years of uh, digital meetings. Uh, I think it's now really time to meet in person. And this is the strength of this meeting to see all of our distributors, partners around the globe, of the DW Academy, of the programming. So and this is really wonderful to see you all here and shows the diversity of our world. So again, it's a big applause now for you all that you came here. Thank you very much. I would also like to welcome Maria Ressa, the Nobel Peace Prize laureate. It's great that you're here. Ladies and gentlemen, these are turbulent and dangerous times, with Russia's war against Ukraine raging within the borders of a sovereign European country. The devastation is global. This morning we will hear from experts about some of the fallout of this war across the globe. And on the other hand, this is one of the times in history when journalism can definitely prove its relevance. International news agencies and media like DW, or our friends from France Media Monde, USAGM, or the BBC, we now have a special responsibility. We cannot stop this war, but we can contribute to decisive political action by keeping the fate of hundreds of thousands of people in the headlines. Two Ukrainian journalists have been essentially in exposing the suffering after the Russian invasion of their country. It is my honor to hand the DW Freedom of Speech Award this afternoon to Mstislav Chernov and Evgeny Maloletka. Their reporting for Mariupol changed public perception of this war in a fundamental way. I also welcome Jody Ginsberg, the president of the Committee for the Protection of Journalists, who is here today to give the laudatory speech for the award. Jody. Covering developments inside Russia has become a bit more difficult lately for DW since the Russian authorities forced us to close our bureau at the beginning of February. Our team is now working from temporary exile in the Latvian capital of Riga. But I'm sure one day, one day we will be back in Moscow. Over the last couple of months, DW has actually gained additional users in Russia since our website was blocked. I take this as an indication for the great interest in objective information as more and more people in Russia understand that all they get is propaganda. Very well made propaganda, but it's propaganda. Free media has to deliver unbiased news and facts. This applies not only to Eastern Europe countries, of course, but also to many countries in Asia, Africa and Latin America. Unfortunately, the numbers of governments that are choking freedom of opinion and free press around the globe is growing. We are facing a storm of disinformation, propaganda, and censorship. When the free and independent voices work together, we can withstand this storm and make a difference. I hope, or rather, I am convinced that the Global Media Forum will provide you with lots of helpful information and inspiration to take on this challenge. Let us listen 
to one of each others. Let us network, let us make alliances, let us talk together and, 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 and also exchange our experiences. We're part participants from a hundred countries are now here, sharing their individual perspective. This is unparalleled. Rarely there is such an abundance of diversity debating the crucial questions of journalism. But uh, not least, I wish you a great time and have fun, make new friends, and come back next year. Thank you very much.